my beloved child, I come to you now with a revelation, a promise that will set your spirit ablaze with renewed hope and unshakable faith. In this sacred moment, I am speaking directly to your heart. Quiet your mind and let my words pierce through the noise, bringing clarity and revelation. For I am doing a new thing in you, can you not perceive it? For I, the Lord your God, am about to unleash a torrent of blessings upon you, blessings so profound, so unexpected, that they will shake the very foundations of your being and leave you awestruck in the radiance of my love. In the depths of your heart, I know you have been waiting, yearning for me to move in your life. You have watched and prayed, your soul crying out for a touch of my divine presence. And now I declare to you that the wait is over. The time has come for me to answer your prayers in ways that will leave you breathless, marveling at the stunning intricacy of my plans for you. Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. I speak these words to you now, for I am the God of the present and the future, the God of new beginnings and glorious transformations, the past with its shadows and scars, its triumphs and tears, is but a flickering candle in the face of the brilliant dawn I am about to unveil in your life. Even now it is springing forth, a lush garden of possibilities blossoming in the very places where you once saw only barren wilderness. Where there was pain I will sow seeds of joy, where there was lack I will pour out abundance, where there was fear I will ignite a flame of unwavering courage. You are mine and I am yours. This is the unbreakable truth that anchors your soul in the midst of life's storms. When the winds of change howl and the waves of uncertainty crash against your faith, remember that you are held secure in the palm of my hand. No force in heaven or on earth can snatch you from my eternal embrace. As my child, you are heir to a kingdom of unfading glory a realm where every tear is wiped away and every longing finds its ultimate fulfillment in my presence. The gifts I have in store for you are beyond your wildest imaginings, treasures of wisdom, fountains of joy, and a peace that surpasses all understanding. These are not mere trinkets or fleeting pleasures, but enduring blessings that will nourish your spirit and light your path for all eternity. I know the wounds you carry, the scars that run deep within your soul. The echoes of past hurts and disappointments still whisper in the corridors of your mind, tempting you to doubt my goodness and question my plans. But I tell you now, with all the authority of heaven, that those whispers are lies, shadows that will vanish in the brilliance of my truth. For I am the God who heals, the God who restores, the God who makes all things new. I will take those painful memories, those fragments of brokenness, and transform them into monuments of my grace. Where once there was shame, I will drape you in robes of righteousness. Where once there was fear, I will crown you with the helmet of salvation. Where once there was despair, I will anoint you with the oil of gladness. Every trial you have faced, Every tear you have shed, every prayer you have whispered in the dark, they are all threads in the magnificent design I am fashioning, a design that will reveal the depths of my wisdom and the heights of my love. So fix your eyes on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. Let your heart be filled with a holy anticipation, a thrill of expectation as you watch and wait for my hand to move in your life. For I am the God of surprises, the God of suddenly, the God who delights in exceeding your expectations and showering you with blessings beyond measure. In the stillness of your soul, listen for my whisper, the gentle voice that speaks life and purpose into your very bones. I am calling you by name, inviting you to step into the fullness of your destiny, to embrace the extraordinary plans I have crafted for you since the dawn of time. Do not be afraid to follow where I lead. For every step you take in obedience is a step closer to the abundant life I have promised you. As you journey with me, you will discover that 
My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. There will be moments when the path ahead seems shrouded in mystery, when the challenges you face appear insurmountable. But remember I am the God who parts the Red Sea, the God who brings water from the rock, the God who turns graves into gardens. Nothing is impossible for me, and nothing can thwart the plans I have for your good and my glory. I am doing a new thing in your life, a work so profound and so transformative that it will leave you gasping in wonder. You will look back on this moment and marvel at the intricacy of my handiwork. Your heart will overflow with gratitude as you see how I turned your mourning into dancing, your ashes into beauty, your brokenness into a testament of my redeeming love. So let your faith rise like the dawn, let your hope soar on wings like eagles. For I am the Lord your God, the one who holds your future in the palm of my hand. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the God who was and is and is to come. And I declare to you now, with all the authority of heaven, that your best days are ahead of you, that your greatest victories are yet to be won, that your most profound joys are waiting to be discovered in the boundless depths of my love. Trust in me with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will direct your paths. I will lead you beside still waters. I will restore your soul. I will guide you into a future so bright, so glorious, that it will take your breath away. For I am the Lord your God, and my plans for you are plans of hope and a future, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a destiny that will leave a mark on eternity. So come, my child. Let me lead you into the new thing I am doing, into the glorious adventure I have prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For I am the Lord your God, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. And as you walk with me, as you trust in my unfailing love and unshakable faithfulness, you will discover that the best is yet to come, that the most extraordinary chapters of your story are yet to be written. For I am the God of the impossible, the God of the miraculous, the God who delights in doing exceedingly, abundantly above all that you could ask or imagine. So let your heart be filled with expectation, let your spirit be ignited with a holy fire. My beloved child, you have been in a season of intense growth, though it may have felt like a thicket of thorns tearing at your soul. But I tell you, the pain you've endured has a holy purpose. With each twinge I have been carefully cultivating the soil of your spirit, uprooting the weeds of doubt and fear to make space for new life to spring forth. And spring forth it shall, for I am the master gardener, and it is my great delight to bring forth beauty from ashes in your life. Even now, the seeds of destiny that I planted deep within you long ago are beginning to sprout. Tender shoots of vibrant green are pushing through the dirt, reaching toward the light. This growth cannot be stopped, for it flows from my spirit within you. It may happen so swiftly that it catches you by surprise. One day a barren landscape, the next an abundant garden lush with fruit. Though the progress has been hidden, I have been at work behind the scenes aligning every detail for this sudden flourishing. As the roots of my promises take hold in the depths of your being, they will anchor you like a mighty oak. The winds of adversity may come, but you will not be easily shaken, for what I establish in you will be unshakable able to withstand any storm. This is the confidence that comes from being rooted and grounded in my love. Yet the truest knowing of this love comes not from hearing of it secondhand, but from the immediacy of lived experience. Some of my sweetest gifts cannot be understood in the abstract. They must be tasted firsthand. And though the path to this knowing is often fraught with struggle, the intimacy you gain with me makes it all worthwhile. For I am not a distant God, content to watch from afar. 
No, I am ever present, walking with you through valleys of shadow and revealing myself in new dimensions. In the crucible of hardship, my tenderness is unmistakable. When the night presses in, my comfort is tangible. Even when your circumstances appear bleak, a wasteland with no end in sight, I am there. Beloved, have you forgotten who I am? I specialize in crafting roads in the wilderness and streams in the desert. What looks impossible to you is simple for me. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. Perhaps poverty has stripped you of earthly security. A health crisis has shaken your physical foundation. Relational betrayal has decimated your trust. I know the unique wilderness you find yourself in. But hear me. This is not your final destination, for I am leading you somewhere, one step at a time. And as you follow me through this uncharted territory, a stunning transformation is taking place within you. With each faithful step, I am shaping you into a clearer reflection of my heart. Rough edges are being smoothed, fears are melting away, a newfound strength is rising. But this death-to-life metamorphosis cannot be rushed, and it will require your cooperation. Will you trust me in the unseen work? Will you yield to my process when everything in you wants to resist it? Lay down your agenda and make space for mine. Trades striving for surrender, relinquish control. I know this is no small ask. Your self-protective instincts serve a purpose and your old patterns once helped you survive. But you are in a new season now. What worked in the past is no longer sufficient for where I am taking you. I need full access to every part of you, even the broken bits you try to hide. Beloved, give me your yes, and I will take you on the adventure of a lifetime. I will lead you to freedom in places your soul has been locked up tight. I will mend the fractured places and make you whole. I will breathe life where death once reigned. This is my specialty. Hand me your mourning. I will give you joy. Surrender your ashes. I will wrap you in my beauty. Release your burdens. I will carry them. Entrust your failures to me. My grace is sufficient. Come empty-handed and I will fill you with good gifts. Do not be afraid to dream with me. I have planted desires in the soil of your heart and intend to bring them to fruition in my perfect timing. When the intensity of the battle has you weary, reconnect with your why. Remember the faces of those I have called you to serve. Rekindle the passion that burns in your belly. Resurrect the vision. And when disappointment comes, and it will, guard your heart. Resist the urge to pull back in self-protection. Instead, Run to me. I am your safe place. I will hold your heart with utmost gentleness. I will speak to your pain. I will infuse you with love and send you out fortified. Beware of the enemy's attempts to derail you with distraction and discouragement. He prowls around seeking someone to devour. But he holds no power over you. For I have sealed you with my spirit. In me you are hidden. In me you have the victory. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Should you stumble, simply return to me. My mercies are new every morning. Not once have I ever stopped believing in you. My delight in you is unwavering, and my commitment to you unshakable. Nothing you do could ever make me love you more, and nothing you have done could make me love you less. This love is the most powerful force in the universe and you carry it within you. As you learn to live loved, you will find yourself naturally overflowing with love for others. Lay down your need to perform and watch me empower you to love with abandon. This is the abundant life I came to give you. Allow the extravagance of my affection to wash over you now. Let it fill your lungs with each breath, permeate your pores, saturate your cells. You are drenched in my love. There is no part of you untouched by the force of my pleasure in you. Linger here, drink deeply, 
and as you go about your day, be on the lookout for me. I will be with you in the most ordinary of moments, as near as the air in your lungs. I will draw you to myself in a million little ways. Though much is veiled from your eyes now, one day you will see with breathtaking clarity how I worked all things together for your good. Every season served a purpose. Every loss birthed an eventual gain. Every detour led you to your destiny. Every heartache expanded your capacity for joy. All is grace. So open your hands and receive what I am pouring out even now. Do not let the weight of the past or the fear of the future keep you from the glorious now of my presence. For this is the day I have made. I am doing a new thing. Heaven is pregnant with possibility. Beloved, I have come to give you life. Abundant life. Not a half-life, scratching out a meager existence, but a rich, fulfilling, above and beyond all you could ask or imagine kind of life. The kind of life that flows from knowing me. The kind of life that can never be taken from you, no matter what. So, lift up your head. Shake off discouragement and take heart. I brood over you with boundless affection. I sing songs of deliverance over you. I take great delight in you and quiet you with my love. Draw near and hear my heart beating for you. Tune your spirit to the frequency of my voice. For I am beckoning you into the wide open spaces of my love. There is so much more I want to show you. So much more for you to taste and see. A banqueting table awaits. Come, eat your fill and be satisfied. So be at peace, dear one. I've got you. I hold you. I will never let you go. Not in a million lifetimes. You are mine and I am yours. And that's the way it will always be. Forever and ever. Amen.